guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Kotobukiya DC Comics Bishujo Zatanna. That's right, the Bishujo lineup continues on with more beautiful ladies from the DC Comics universe. So let's go ahead and check out Zatanna. As you can see, she comes in that same style window box packaging we've seen for the other Kotobukiya Bishujo statues. It fully showcases the statue within, and you'll notice at the bottom portion of the box, and on the side of the box, we are treated to the original artwork that this statue is based upon. This artwork is done by renowned Japanese illustrator Shunya Yamashita, who has done all of these DC Bishujo statues so far, so they really fit in line with each other. The back of that box gives you a few turnaround images of the statue within, and below that we get a description of the Zatanna statue. So let's go ahead and remove it from the box and take a closer look at her. Now, if you are unfamiliar, the word Bishujo is a Japanese word that roughly translates into pretty girl or beautiful woman. So that is the specific art style that these particular statues are based upon. Zatanna here fits the bill perfectly. Um, you can see that she's got that gorgeous sculpt going on, and Kotobuki is well known for their amazing sculpts with their great paint decos that really bring out those sculpts. And the one thing that really kind of ties the whole Bishujo line together is definitely the face sculpts. So you can see Zatanna has got a beautiful pretty girl face sculpt there. She's got those big blue eyes, she's got kind of the uh, the perky red lips there, and just a beautiful, gorgeous smile on her face. So, very, very soft, very happy looking sculpt, but very, very well done. Specifically, I love the way that the hair looks. You can see the way it's kind of billowing out and kind of flowing back behind her there. It's done in a gorgeous style, in a straight black color, but I love all the little strands of hair and the way they're all just kind of billowing out on the back like that. Now Zatanna's in a really cool pose as if she's pulling off a magic trick. She's holding her top hat right there in her right hand and above her head she's holding on to her wand. Now it is worth noting when you pull this out of the box, the wand is a separate piece. You'll see it's just a small little piece, uh, a plastic wand here. It slides right into her fingers and she does have a nice firm grasp on it. So once you get it assembled into her hand, she's already holding it there. You won't have to worry about it falling out. And that is the only thing that you have to put together on this particular statue. The rest of it comes out of the box perfectly ready for display. She stands 10 inches tall, and you'll notice that she is positioned on a golden circular base with a Z on there for Zatanna. And she's non-removable, so she is attached to the base by her left foot, which is positioned right there on the ground. But it's a great base, keeps her perfectly balanced on the shelf. She's got her right leg kicked up, which is awesome looking. I love those thigh-high boots there with the heels. And then I think one of my absolute favorite details on this is that the nylon stockings that she's wearing are actual nylon. That's right, these are separate pieces over the statue, so she has a realistic stockings right there on her legs. I think that makes for a really, really great touch and helps to make this statue really kind of stand out as something special. The rest of the outfit is also sculpted beautifully. I love the way the tails of her jacket are billowing out in the back the same as her hair, almost as if a burst of magic is kind of making everything blow out behind her there. She's got the yellow cummerbund on there, she's got the frilly white top, and a little red rose right there on her left breast. So, it's a beautiful statue with a really, really tremendous pose. I absolutely love the way she's standing there holding the wand with her hat out in her right hand as if she's pulling off some sort of magic trick for you. It's a gorgeous statue all around with a beautiful paint job, an awesome sculpt, and it's a very solid construction. So it's a gorgeous piece to add to your collection and will fit in perfectly with the rest of your DC Comics B Shujo statues from Kotobukiya. So for more information on Kotobukiya and their products, be sure to check them out online at www.kotous.com and give them a like on Facebook at facebook.com slash Until next time.